Mr. Chairman, I do associate myself with the remarks of my Democratic colleagues as to the legitimacy of this hearing. Mr. Chairman, you noted that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg had tracks as to her position on important issues. You also noted that Elena Kagan had tracks. Um, and I, of course, I note that Republicans have voted over 70 times, or at least 70 times, to either constrain or repeal the Affordable Care Act. The tracks of this nominee are that she will strike down the ACA. Those are her tracks. So thank you for not hiding that from the American people as they worry about their health care in the middle of a pandemic. As for the lifeline you toss Judge Barrett uh, about severability to save the Affordable Care Act, that is a smokescreen. She didn't invoke severability when she criticized C.J. Roberts for, as she put it, stretching the limits of the Constitution to uphold the Affordable Care Act. If C.J. Roberts had followed her reasoning, he would have voted to strike down the Affordable Care Act. We all know that severability is a canon of construction. And the counter to that is just as uh, Trump and the Republicans are arguing in the Supreme Court, nothing, of, from the, nothing in the Affordable Care Act can be severed so as to sustain it. And that is why we are so concerned why she's being rushed in this process. Thank you.